Hello everyone, my name is Philippe. I'm a huge fan of Barbara Streisand and I'm making a series of 12 videos in which I discuss 12 of her greatest albums, 12 albums that have a real meaning for her, that uh, also describe her career and describe her work and also the variety of styles that she has explored. And today I am discussing what I consider her greatest album, well, one of her greatest albums. It is the Broadway album, Barbara Streisand, the Broadway album. This is an album that was made in 1985. So it was a return to her beginnings. Barbara Streisand began on Broadway. I Can Get It For You Wholesale, in which she uh, was the character of Miss Marmelstein, a, a crazy, kooky secretary. And then right away, she starred in Funny Girl, the beautiful musical in which she <clears throat> was the star and she is up to this day in, you know, Funny Girl forever. And uh, so after that, for the last 12 years, she had been exploring more modern music and she was singing rock and um, rock ballads as well as disco and upbeat tempos and modern uh, lyricists and composers and so this is her return to Broadway and as broad Barbara would make a Broadway album she was not going to make an album that was going to be generic in which there was going to be one song from each known musical uh, she really dove into this work and this uh, the wealth of material that is the Broadway uh, music and she pulled out what she thought was the best, but also what makes Barbara Streisand and what makes her album. And that's why this album is also not only a Broadway album, but a Stephen Sondheim album, because there's a lot of his work and what an, a composer and lyricist he is. And so therefore, I was absolutely thrilled. And she begins with Stephen Sondheim's putting it together from the play Sunday in the Park with George, which is about Georges Seurat, the French painter who is a pointillist. He did dots in order to uh, create his paintings. And um, in the play, putting it together, uh, discusses the difficulties of an artist trying to, to eat and to sell and to make work that is going to sell and going to be commercial and Barbara Streisand transposes that into making this album. So at the beginning she's with um, Sidney Pollack and with David Geffen and they are trying to discourage her and saying this is never going to sell, nobody cares, uh, you know personally I love that music but that's not going to sell, do you know make a hit album and she is saying this is what I believe in and this is what I'm going to do. And it's very, very difficult to hear that, you know, when Barbara Streisand says, no matter who you are, everything you do, you still audition. And, um, and you know, she's, she's Barbara Streisand and she is a huge star in 1985. But nevertheless, she has to fight for her work. And so this uh, brings me to this little... Uh, picture that I have behind me where someone asked me if it was an autograph of Barbara Streisand. It isn't, but today I can tell you who it is. It's Bernadette Peters, who plays Dot in the musical Sunday in the Park with George, and she was in Paris in 1989, and she walked into the restaurant where I was having lunch every single day, and she sat right next to me, and I was shaking and trembling. I was a a 19 year old boy and I finally uh, got the courage to ask her for an autograph and this is the little um, booklets on which they write your orders, the waiter. So it's the waiter who gave me his little um, book and I asked her if she could sign it for me and she was very sweet and she kept saying you're not who I think I am, nobody knows who I am in Paris and so. so then we go on to an amazing song, which is If I Loved You. This is from Carousel. So this is taking into the all-American Broadway classic songbook and um, Rodgers and Hammerst Hammerstein. And uh, forgive me if I make mistakes in my pronunciation. 
uh, and If I Loved You is such a beautiful love song because it takes the point of view of not generally where songs of love say, I'm in love with you, but this one says, if this was the case, then this is what I would do and this is how I would feel. Something's Coming is the third song. Now that's from West Side Story. Stephen Sondheim again, his very, very first work with Leonard Bernstein. Um, a very uplifting song. Something's going to happen. We don't know when, where, but it's coming soon. And the orchestration is, is beautiful. And of course, Barbara Streisand's voice is so powerful that she takes that song head on. Um, then Not While I'm Around, a song from the musical Sweeney Todd. And this one is music and lyrics by uh, Stephen Sondheim, who's very well known as a lyricist, but less well known um, for his music. And it is such a beautiful song. In, in the play, it's sung by a young, very young boy who sings to a woman um, that as long as he's there, he will protect her, even though he's very small and frail. And it's extremely sad because the, the, there's a twist in the plot um, which turns the whole meaning of the song around. While Barbara Streisand sings it, she gives it the, the, the basic meaning of the song where she is just here to protect. And it really sounds like she's singing to a, a child or a mother. And uh, when she was um, on stage in Paris, the only time I saw her in 2006, she sang it and dedicated it to her son, Jason, who was in the audience. And that was a very beautiful moment. Uh, then she sings Being Alive from Company, again, Sondheim. Company is a wonderful musical. And I heard the other day on a, um, a site, someone say, a Barbara Streisand site, I cannot stand when people say Barbara Streisand should have sung this song or she should have done this instead of that. And I completely agree. But when I saw that she was singing Being Alive from Company, I really thought of the song uh, that is called Not Getting Married Today in the same uh, musical, which would have suited her amazingly. I would have loved to hear her sing it. It's one of my favorite songs. Being Alive is the last song on uh, the uh, in the musical company, and it's really a very fast-paced song about being content, being happy to have somebody to argue with, having somebody in your life um, that upsets you and that you love. It's another way of speaking of love and it's it's just it's just fantastic and she sings it beautifully. Then uh, Barbara Streisand takes on three songs from The King and I, I Have Dreamed, We Kiss in a Shadow and Something Wonderful, Rogers and Hammerstein and they're all put together in a medley but they really sound like it's one song and it's just beautifully orchestrated. Uh, Peter Matz has done a lot of orchestration and also Paul Jabara uh, uh, worked on this album, which is pretty amazing, knowing that he had done the disco um, uh, work for Barbara Streisand, No More Tears and the main event. And I met Paul Jabara as well in Paris many years ago. And uh, we spoke, uh, I mean, I didn't recognize him, but once he told me who he was, I and instantly told him how much I loved Barbara Streisand. And he said to me that listening to Barbara Streisand in a studio when she's recording is only can be compared or uh, explained as listening to an angel. And he said, it's just absolutely something unbelievable. And he said he heard some of the greatest voices, known or unknown, but this is what he felt about Streisand and I was not going to contradict. Um, after that, Adelaide's Lament, which is from Guys and Dolls, and if anybody knows uh, Barbara Streisand's uh, love for Marlon Brando, he was uh, the main actor in the movie version, and Adelaide's Lament was not on the, on, the, on the vinyl and on the cassette, which I bought when I first got the album. So it was such a thrill to get this when I got the CD, and it is an amazing, amazing song. Again, this is a woman who is comparing uh, the cold, the common cold and the flu and, and losing, not being unlucky in love. And so it's just 
incredibly written, but it is so funny and she is a comedian. This is where the actress and the Broadway actress and the singer come together. And this is where you realize, of course, in Funny Girl, this was a once in a lifetime because when do you ever get someone who is such a good actress and such an extraordinary singer together on stage? It's just, you know, one of those miracles and beautifully orchestrated. Uh, then she sings Send in the, the Clowns. This is Stephen Sondheim from A Little Night Music. And but Barbara Streisand sings it magnificently. And she had uh, a part of it rewritten because she wanted to return to a part of the song that she wanted to sing again. And she didn't want to repeat the lines. And Stephen Sondheim wrote it especially for her. This classic piece of work and Stephen Sondheim um, changed it a little bit for Barbara. So that's pretty amazing. And then we arrive at what I find is the greatest work in the album. Uh, I say that because it's two songs, Pretty Women from Sweeney Todd and The Ladies Who Lunch from uh, Company Both by Stephen Sondheim. Now, if uh, you know or if you've heard Pretty Women, you will automatically say that is impossible to be sung by a woman. It's a song where two men praise the beauty and the, and the, the uh, mystery of women. But Barbara Streisand again sings it in a way where she is uh, uh, yearning for, for this uh, beauty and, and incomprehensible and untouchable magic that is the woman, even though she is one, but not that kind, you know, even though Barbara Streisand is such a beautiful woman, but she's talking about, you know, those perfect women. And when I saw Barbara Streisand in Paris, she said, uh, I was going to say she told me, she didn't tell me, but she said that uh, she adored Jacques Brel. He sings a song in which he says uh, that in he his dream is to be for only one hour handsome and stupid at the same time and it's this it's really a parallel between these two songs about uh how a man can desire wanting to be just that that absolute beauty you know these guys that you see and they're just perfect and there's something absolutely mysterious about them and this is where right when she ends the part of pretty women she goes right into the ladies who lunch which is a very cynical song and it's ironic because it's talking about these women that are perfect and that do nothing and that everything is handed to them and they go to classes and they think they're perfect and they're bored and and their lives are not real and it's just an unbelievable uh, uh unbelievable lyrics and Barbara Streisand when you hear that, you think she could have been the star of every single one of these musicals because when she takes on a song, it just takes on something absolutely incredible. Uh, then we're going back to two more classical pieces. Can't Help Loving That Man of Mine, uh, Jerome Kern and Hammerstein from Showboat. And um, so I heard that Barbara Streisand wanted it to sound like the movie and um uh which was the musical with with uh, Ava Gardner and the um, harmonica is played by Stevie Wonder and just beautifully and he's just it's really really magnificent the way he plays and it's a, it's it's very subtle and it's there's a lot of melancholy and it's just absolutely beautiful. And then I Loves You Porgy from, from uh, Porgy and Bess, um, uh, I, George and Ira Gershwin. And then she sings Porgy, I's Your Woman Now, but it's the, the original was Bess, You Is My Woman. So uh, she sings both parts, the man and the woman part together as, um, as Bess. Um, and she ends with Somewhere, again, Sondheim and again his very first work in um, West Side Story with uh, music by Leonard Bernstein and somewhere uh, this time takes on a universal sense because there's a place for us and she's talking about 
humanity. This is the whole world getting together um, somewhere. And uh, that's why the music, the beginning of the music is so haunting and you just hear sounds and it's like you were in space and it's, it's just absolutely extraordinary. And it ends the album on something very new and it just is the perfect last song to this perfect album, which I hope you will listen to again and listen to for the first time for whoever uh, hasn't heard it before. And I'll be back very soon with another Barbara Streisand masterpiece. <laughs>